Hey guys, Joey here again. I bet you thought you heard the last of me. Bwah! Well, I'm here. I'm back. Ha ha ha. So, um, I thought I would do a little tutorial on must-have books for the Barbie Collector. Um, the reason that I am showing this book first is because when I was a kid and not allowed to have dolls, I would go to the library and they had this book and I would, I think I was like, it was on constant checkout with me. <laughs> um, and I studied it and studied it and studied it. Um, I am, I don't feel it's the best book, but I feel that it's an important book in Barbie history. And it definitely has a lot of very cool stuff, prototypes and whatnot. Um, so this is definitely a book that, um, is worth checking out. Okay. So moving on. And also, I'm just going to say that um, this is just my opinions. This is just through the years and years of collecting. So I'm sure there's plenty of books that I'm not going to be talking about that are fabulous. Um, we're just going to go with what, um, what I have and what I'm enjoying and what I use for guides and whatnot for information. Cover Girl Darcy. Oh, well, how did you get in here, Darcy? Okay. The Ultimate Barbie Doll Book, um, Marcy Malilo. This is a must have. If you do not have this book, you need to get this book and you do not have any excuses because it is not expensive online and it is the ultimate. This is the book that you want. This is an incredible book. Um, it is not a hundred percent. She did miss a few dolls. Um, as far as just the normal play lines and whatnot, she did miss a few that, um, I took note on, but for the most part, it is awesome. And I mean, we have like pictures of, um, close-ups of faces to show makeup. Um, so you can like look at your doll and look through the book and try to find the paint screening that matches your doll so you can figure out who she is. So this is a must have. This You have to have this book, I'm telling you. And you won't regret it. It's totally worth it and hours and hours of fun. Okay, so moving on to, yes, Barbie fashion. Um, Sarah Sink Eames, you are amazing. You are wonderful, lovely. I can't say enough wonderful things about you. These are fabulous books. Um, there are three volumes. There is a uh, volume one, 59 through 67, volume two, 68 through 74. And my personal favorite, volume three, 75 to 79. This starts hitting on the superstar era, which is my childhood era. Um, unfortunately, there is not a fourth volume. I, I would die if Sarah Sink Eames uh, came out with volume four and showed all of the early 80s fashions that are from my childhood that I love so much. Um, but these are, again, must-haves in my opinions. These are beautiful books. Beautiful. Um, they are just full of gorgeous fashions. Um, well, early 70s is not my thing. Ugh. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to, ugh. but, uh, anyway, it is, it's just full, they're full of just really, really cool fashions. So these are must have books. Um, and Sarah, if you're listening, please come out with volume number four. I know it's probably difficult because they started coming out with like a billion different versions and fabrics and it gets really involved, but I think all of us would agree that if you just did the best that you could, even if it wasn't 100% complete, we would freaking love it. Um, and it would sell out. Just saying. Okay, and moving on. Gene Marshall, how did you get in here? Okay, so this does not go with any of the rest of the books here because it's not Barbie and that's what we're focusing on right now. But this is a fabulous book and I'm in love with Mel Odom, so it, it's in there. Um... Barbie doll photo album. Now, this is a really, really cool book. I was really uh, taken back by it. Um, it really was cool because 
Um, there's not a lot of books that cover like the 2000s. Um, and how awesome is this book to be covering Playline um, of the 2000s? I mean, I, I totally reminisced um, Jewel Girl and um, anyway, uh, fashion, the Fashion Fever line. Oh, the Fashion Fever line. Uh, Modern Circle. Um, uh, yeah, Midge and her family. Um, anyway, it is <laughs> American Idol and those crazy bodies. Um, it was, it's a really good book. Um, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Oh my God, Fashion Fever. Oh, I think that if anybody was around during this time, you caught the fever. Um, I wish that they would get back to, I mean, I love what they're doing now. Don't get me wrong. Um, they're, the, Carlisle is doing an amazing job with the Fashionista line. Like, it's definitely, like, moving on up. I just... I love the Fashion Fever um, stuff because it just felt like it was a little more um, detailed and yada yada. Anyway, so this is another book that I strongly suggest and think is a really fantastic um, book. So there's that. Um, Barbie, The First 30 Years. Uh, there's a few different versions. They're all the same book. I think it's just um, updated versions um this is a really good book it's really cool because it kind of goes through um cases and it goes through like um structures and furniture and cars um so it's kind of in depth in a different way and so i appreciate that um and it's a definitely a cool book and it's worth having um, that's on my list. One book that's an honorable mention that I actually do not have or else it would be here and I'd be talking about it is if you are a Francie fan, um, Joe Blitman has a book called Francie and Her Mod Mod World and that is a fantastic book for you Francie nuts and for you mod heads. Um, so anyway, yeah, Joe Blitman, Francie, Mod Mod World. Um, that's a must have for you mod doll collectors and Francie lovers. And Barbie Around the World. Um, I think that this book is underestimated a little bit. This is actually a really cool book. And funny story, I had bought this book. I didn't even really look at it. I ended up getting rid of it. And then one day I was like, why did I get rid of that book? So I ordered it again. Um, and it's actually really cheap. Like I think I paid like $10 in free shipping online to get it. And I mean, this came out was a $30 book. Um, it's a hard copy. It's all color pages. It's beautiful. Um, it's really cool because it goes through a lot of the different countries, European countries. Um, and uh, in Canada, crazy Canada, and uh, Brazil, and, and whatnot. But I also really love it because, oh, Japan. Um, for those of you who know me well, um, I'm a big uh, Japanese fashion doll freak, and um, I have been in love with uh, Takara Barbie since uh, I was a little kid. I think um, Billy Boy's book... Billy Boy's book. Oh my God. Okay. So I didn't put Billy Boy's book in here. Um, it's a really like wild and fun and awesome book, much like his personality. And that is something that I used to check out at the library too. Um, so, and I'm trying to, I think it's Barbie, her life and times, I think Billy Boy. And that is a really, Awesome, fun book. Has lots of, like, different designers doing one-of-a-kind dolls. Lots of artwork. Has some information on Lily. Um, build Lily in there and stuff. Um, so that's a really fun book. Um, anyway, I sidetracked myself. I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, that's a fun book, too. So, Philippines. Anyway, this is not... I don't say it's a must-have, but it's really cool. And, I mean, if you're into Barbie and you want to educate yourself and learn more about Barbie around the world, this is your book. And then, last that I have here is not really Barbie, but it is the mother of Barbie, Mattel. And this book is really cool because 
It shows a bunch of fashion doll lines that utilize Barbie face molds, utilize Barbie bodies, um, but weren't necessarily Barbie, um, like the Guardian Goddesses, Truly Scrumptious, Donnie and Marie. Um, so it's a really cool book. And it also has lots of neat other dolls like Spectra and Rock Flowers and She-Ra um, and Lady Lovely Locks. Uh, so Jazzy. Um, so it's really, it's really a cool, fun book. Um, and it's worth checking out and getting the Hart family. It's got a really nice section on Hart family. I think it's got a great section on, um, Disney too, Fashion Friends from Kmart. Um, yeah, this is a hot looks. Oh my gosh, crazy. Um, Shira, gotta love Shira. Um, yeah, so this is a really cool, fun book, Dazzle. Um, it'll kind of, um, educate you too on other products and things that Mattel was trying out, um, through the years. Uh, some successful, some not. Honey Hill Bunch. Um, anyway, so this is a really fun book too. So there you have it. It's kind of a ridiculous, silly little video, but, um, I thought it was important because some people don't know about these books and like I said if you're really 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 into Barbie and you're really wanting to learn more these are like bread and butter these are just amazing oh, amazing 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 books get this book um, anyway that's all for now and I am signing out bye guys